I'm gonna show you how to take this and make it even better. I'm gonna take a dark chocolate protein pancake, add banana, add some honey glazed nuts to make even a better protein pancake. Stay tuned. So for this recipe, what I'm using is Kodiak pancakes. They've been around for a little bit. I'm sure you've seen them at the store. You can get them at most grocery stores. Good thing about them, they already come with a good quality protein in it and a good macro. Uh, carbs to protein. I mean one serving is 28 grams of carbs and 14 grams of protein. So what I'm going to do is take this recipe, multiply it by two, and then add some different things to it to make it a little bit better. First we're going to start off with 106 grams of pancake mix. Now we're going to add 106 grams of flaxseed milk. This gives you a little bit more protein and a little bit more richness. After the milk's been added, we're going to add one medium ripe banana. You just cut it into little pieces like this, which is going to make it easier for the whisking. At this point, now it's time for the whisking. You're going to take a metal whisk, push it down to smash the bananas. It's going to make it easier to incorporate into the mix. And then taking your time, not making a big mess, because the, the faster you mix, the more you will spill over the bowl. You just start mixing it until nice and smooth. Take your time, make sure that it's nice and smooth and the lumps are removed from the mix. Now you're going to take your griddle, spray a little non-stick spray on it. This will help, you know, make sure it doesn't stick, of course, right? The last, the last thing you need to worry about. You're going to scoop out the pancake mix onto the griddle. You're going to do even portions. So you're going to take about, I would say about four ounces on each one. This yields about three good sized pancakes. So just take your time, make sure that evenly spread it out and use a rubber spatula at the end to get every piece of it onto the bowl. You know, that's the most important part. Don't leave any waste. It cuts down on everything else. Now that they've cooked on one side, flip them over and they're, they're done. For assembly, it's quite easy. You're going to take your plate and you're going to stack them. Three high, because that's all we have, right? Three pancakes, so just three. Now we're going to take some organic honey and drizzle over it instead of maple syrup for the calories, of course. These are some honey crusted almonds. You just put that on top for the crunch. Again, a little texture, soft pancakes, a little crunchiness. Finish off with the powdered sugar to give it that nice little golden touch. And there you have it. So that's it. I guess there's one last thing to do is to taste it and see how it is. The banana really comes through. It really merges really well with the dark chocolate. Hopefully you like the recipe. Leave me any comments down below. Leave me any suggestions on how you would tweak it to make it even better. Till next time, love you guys. Bye.